Good, good morning. Um, I'd like to call this special meeting of the Urbana City Council to order. Would the clerk please call the roll? Ms. Sammons? Mr. Brown? Here. Mr. Jacobson? Here. Mr. Madigan? Ms. Marlin? Here. Mr. Roberts? Here. Mr. Smythe? Here. Mayor Pressing? Here. And I would like to say that the reason we're calling this meeting is that we have new owners of the former Holiday Inn on Lincoln Avenue and they had events planned this weekend that require a liquor license so we're having a special meeting to see if we can give them a liquor license um, to avoid interrupting their business okay so we'll move on to petitions and communications is there anyone who would like to address the Urbana City Council yes okay Jeff Edwards um, you're the current manager right that is correct okay so he's here if anyone has questions for you uh, I do and I think uh, Diane Charlie? does oh, might sorry. be the same question uh, we're sort of interested what are the long-term plans we see the Holiday Inn sign is down what is this new hotel yeah I uh, need to push uh, no, it should be on. Okay. Um, the, the current plans for the hotel is we will be franchising it uh, to a different brand. A part of the sale was uh, that the IHG brand had to be deflagged, um, and that was, a, uh, that was a requirement of the sale. But we are in, in uh, conversations with um, at least three other uh, hotel chains. Um, we are in, uh, it looks like uh, Wyndham is, is certainly uh, probably one of the top ones that we're, we're talking to. Um, the issues that we have uh, run into um, as far as having it flagged immediately is that uh, there is a property improvement plan that is part of the uh, negotiations with any new, new franchise. And uh, um, some of the franchises have uh, told us that they're going to require us to complete the entire uh, property improvement plan before uh, uh, they would put the flag up. Uh, however, in our negotiations with Wyndham, uh, it looks like that uh, uh, we'll be able to speed that process up and we're looking at uh, having a flag uh, hopefully in the next two to three months. Um, there are plans to, um, we'll start in the lobby area uh, and that's, uh, uh, that was one of the requirements from, from Wyndham, and we're going to uh, change the entire look of, uh, of the lobby, and, and uh, I think there'll be some exterior work that will be done. Uh, the guest room bathrooms will be complete. Uh, the entire uh, guest room side of the hotel was done in 2009, so uh, it still has a, a fresh look in the guest rooms with the exception of the bathrooms. Uh, the uh, meeting space will also... Uh, have some work done to it and uh, the as well as the exterior of the building uh, and just to follow up then how are you you know there probably were people with reservations or you know particularly conference room sort of things is that just moving forward as as it was uh, yes how, how, how are you handling that we're, transition? We're, we're honoring all of the contracts and all of the reservations that we we previously had we were fortunate enough to uh, maintain the same property management system and operating system that we cr that we previously had so we were able to uh, keep all of those records and all of those people that have made reservations uh, we have uh, contacted the uh, priority club or IHG rewards members uh, that uh, um, are using points to pay for their rooms so that they have the option to either use their points at another hotel um, or uh, just continue with their reservation with us at a different uh, rate where they would have to pay. Okay, thank you. That was my question. Um, did you, that answers your question? Okay, Bill Brown. Um, during the renovations, do you plan to keep the hotel open all the time? And do you know, do you have an idea how long, in t how long the renovations will be ongoing? Um, during the renovations, we do intend to keep the hotel open. Um, we have some, uh, uh, we have some major groups that are that are going to be in uh, in the next three months. One of them being the uh, University of Illinois football team um, is uh, we've we've booked them for their Friday nights prior to uh, to the to the game days, um, and uh, they're currently staying with us right now um, for the first week before camp. So um, because of that, 
they didn't want to, they, they could have closed the hotel and done the renovation and, and, and gotten the flag, uh, but the, uh, the ownership preferred to uh, maintain those ties and, and uh, um, continue, continue doing business as usual. Diane? Is your um, hotel one of the larger event centers in the Champaign-Urbana, and how many can yes, you accommodate it, and do you plan to expand that capacity or no? Um, as far as expansion, I, I, you know, I, I can't answer that as far as expansion, but I do know that uh, we are the largest uh, single, uh, air, we are the largest single ballroom in the, in the community currently. Uh, Dennis. Uh, two questions. Um, how many rooms are in the hotel currently? We have 198 hotel rooms. Okay. Uh, and uh, maybe you can tell me a little bit about uh, the actual company that you represent. Are you mostly a hotel management firm, or do you is it a uh, hotel uh, operation firm that has many hotels around the United States or, I guess, Canada as well? Yeah, Raqqa Hospitality has hotels in Canada. Uh, they also have uh, some hotels in the U.S. in uh, in, in Idaho. Um, they have uh, it's a family-owned firm. Um, the the father started out. Uh, he uh, migrated to Canada and he started out as a. Uh, I believe he was uh, he worked in uh, an, an airport, and uh, he then bought his first property and and uh, that it's mainly uh, they started out I believe in uh, real estate um, and that's primarily where their their business is, is is real estate but they do own uh, two hotels in Vancouver which is where they're located and as well as uh, uh, they currently I believe have two hotels in Idaho do they operate them as a family or do they usually uh, hire um, the uh, operational services through uh, second parties well, they, uh, they, they do the uh, payroll. Um, most of the things will be done right on property, and, and I guess you can say that, that I would be the management company for them. So they are a hotelier company, yes. you would say, more yes. than a real estate company. Yeah, they, they have hotels as well as real estate, but uh, uh, they have uh, the hotels that they operate in Canada. Um, they have a, a direct uh, manager. The accounts payable, everything is done locally. Uh, we will do everything locally here. We have uh, all the bank accounts are set up in uh, in a local bank, Chase, and uh, you know we uh, we expect to keep uh, you know our business in in the community of Urbana. Well, welcome. So, is that the same way that the Holiday Inn franchise worked? The uh, the Holiday Inn was managed by uh, it was owned by a company in New York uh, initially, mm -hmm. and then. Um, it was managed by Associated Hotels. Um, uh, Mr. Jay Fishman was the uh, receiver during the uh, during the transition phase, and they continued to uh, employ Associated Hotels. So, um, what we did when we uh, received invoices, we processed those invoices, sent them to Chicago, and then they were paid out of out of Chicago. So now they'll be paid locally. They'll be paid locally now. Okay. Yes. Are there any other questions? Oh, yes, Eric. Uh, and so will you be continuing to accept new reservations during this period? And by what name will people know you, or how will people know to, uh, to, to contact the hotel for reservations? People will currently know us as the Urbana Plaza Hotel um, and Conference Center uh, is, the, is the name. There'll be a... We uh, we have a sign, and I think that uh, we're just waiting on the permits right now for uh, to to get the sign put up uh, um, to replace where the Holiday Inn sign was. Uh, that will be the 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 temporary name until uh, a franchise is secured. Um, but as I said, I don't think that it's going to be an extended period of time for that franchise. Uh, we got some very positive news just yesterday. Uh, yesterday was really a whirlwind day for. Uh, for everybody, not only did they have the closing, but they also had someone from a from a franchise in there that was really pushing to uh, to secure a deal. So I think they're very very close on that. Other question, and and this is maybe this is partly just curiosity, but um, and trying to understand your business. But what is the advantage to you of associating with a franchise as opposed to um, you know just being 
an independent Urbana Plaza Hotel? Mm -hmm. um, as an independent, um, we will use a booking engine called booking.com to make reservations and people will have to go to a website uh, and then they'll be relocated to booking.com. Um, we are on the third party sites. We have to manage those directly from the hotel. Um, as, a, uh, as a franchise, we will have not only the power of the franchise as far as dealing with third parties, um, like your price lines, Expedia, those types of, uh, those types of search engines, uh, but we will also be able to um, manage the inventory in the hotel so that there's not any issues with overbooking or uh, uh, booking too many rooms on um, you know, an ex Expedia or a Priceline where we now have to, we have to manage those day to day and we have to go in and input on a daily basis. Um, it's a lot easier to, uh, it'll be a lot easier to find uh, the hotel on those sites um, than, uh, than previously, as well as uh, with a franchise, you have a, you have a dedicated national sales force that works for you um, versus as an independent, we will just, we would just have the people that were right there in the hotel going out and trying to secure local business. So, um, you know, these, uh, the franchises actually work with national accounts for individuals who are coming into the community. Just as a practical question, if somebody has a reservation at the Holiday Inn and the sign is down, how would they locate you? Um, everyone knows where the, I think everyone knows where the Holiday Inn was located, but um, we, the, the address is the same. Um, um, I, I mean, I'm sure that for, for years to come, people will, will, will say they'll, they'll still use Holiday Inn when, uh, I remember when, uh, uh, back in 1999, when I first started working at the, at the uh, Holiday Inn, people still referred to the Holiday Inn as the one out on Neal Street. And, um, um, you know, I still have people that say, are you are that hotel on Neal Street? But uh, um, there is some redirection in the, uh, on the channels that if someone tries to pull up Holiday Inn, it will automatically redirect them to the Urbana Hotel Plaza website. So they'll be, and the phone number remained the same, everything stayed the same. So anyone who calls us, we're gonna, you know, we'll certainly let them know exactly where we're, where I mean, we're at. Does it say formerly Holiday Inn or anything like that? Um, I believe that um, we were not allowed to use the Holiday okay. Inn name in any way, shape or form uh, as part of the uh, franchise agreement that we had. But uh, um, there is direction on the, on the internet as well as, uh, you know, as I said, we kept everything else exactly the same with the phone number and, and everything else, so. Okay, somebody else had, um, Diane? Yeah, I would think a hotel in that location, in that size would just have to be part of a franchise because of the interstate and just recognition. So there's, there's in your opinion, there's no chance you won't be franchised. In, in my opinion, no, yeah. there's not. Okay, Dennis. Well, I could make a motion. Okay. Which is why we're here. I'd move that uh, ordinance number 2013-10-007, which is an ordinance amending the Urbana City Code, Chapter 3, Section 3-43, increasing the number of Class AA and Class AA-01 liquor licenses for the Holiday Inn Champagne Urbana at 1001 West Killarney Street be approved. Second, and I assume you meant yeah, 077. Yeah, I think we have corrections here. And, okay. So yeah, it's 2014-08-077. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I said okay, there was an, well, that's the way it was on the original agenda, but it's been amended. Yeah. And I don't think we should say Holiday Inn Champaign-Urbana. I'm just reading what was on I know, the, uh, I understand that. We need to revise yeah, it. Yeah, we should make it so uh, the Urbana Plaza The Ur Hotel. Urbana Plaza Hotel and Conference Center? Which, as it is currently known, for um, Urbana, so it's t ordinance number twenty fourteen dash zero eight dash zero seven seven, and then the liquor licenses would be for Urbana Plaza Hotel and Conference Center. Convention Center. Convention. Beg your pardon. Convention Center. Yeah, I'm sorry. Convention Center. Oh, Hotel Convention, Convention Center. Convention. Center. They like convention versus conference. I forgot okay. about that. So, would you like me to read that again, <laughs> your motion? 
You want to say? Yeah, I could do it again, I guess. Okay. You correct me if I'm wrong. Ordinance number 2014-08-077. That's correct so far. Right. An ordinance amending the Urbana City Code, Chapter 3, Section 3-43, increasing the number of Class AA and Class AA01 liquor licenses for the Urbana Plaza Hotel and Convention Center, um, Urbana at 1001 West Killarney Street. I move approval. Second. Okay, motion by Robert, seconded by Smythe. Any other discussion? Would the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. <coughs> Jacobson? Yes. Ms. Marlin? Yes. Mr. Roberts? Yes. Mr. Smythe? Yes. That motion carries. Thank you and Thank good you. luck. Thank you very much. My pleasure. There being no further business, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>